Hey guys, sorry if my water's running. <laughs> Let me turn it off real quick before. I am going to be making a whole chicken in my Instant Pot. I just want to show you guys like quickly what I do. Um, this is the Never Any, Never Any uh, brand from all these brand, uh, Young Whole Chicken. Um, I'm gonna rinse this chicken with some vinegar and, and water and stuff and clean it up real good. And I will be right back. It's, this isn't going to be a long video, y'all. And I don't want to go back and forth touching chicken and other stuff in my phone. So I'm going to wash it up real quick. And when I come back, the it's, it's going to be in the Instant Pot. And then I'll show you everything else that I plan to do with this chicken. And I'll be back. Hold on. Okay, y'all. I'm back. I just wanted to show that I'm putting, I think it's called a trivet or whatever, the little basket thing that goes in. I'm putting that in first before I put the chicken in so it's easy to lift out um when it's all done because this is going to be the, ugh, once it comes to pressure and all that it's going to be pretty much fall off the bone and whatnot but I just wanted to show y'all that I was putting that in and I'm going to put the chicken in and wash my hands and then I'll be right back okay y'all I am back and the chicken let me show y'all is in I'm not about to put a whole bunch of spices on it because this chicken is mostly I'm going to mostly be using the breasts and the chicken meat I'm gonna debone it and I'm going to be using it for uh, uh, some bone broth and I'm gonna be using some pieces for maybe a soup and uh, probably repurpose some of the meat and do some other type of dish with it so I don't want to uh, overwhelm it with a bunch of different flavors right now because I'm going to repurpose this chicken in other ways so that's why I'm not I'm like oh she don't season her chicken it's, I'm not I'm just gonna put my um Badia 14 spice in my fridge in order for an instant pot to come to pressure it has to have at least one cup of water for it to come to pressure otherwise it'll burn or I don't know they just that's what it says for it. all instapods they don't matter which one you have in order for it to come to pressure it has to have at least one cup of water so here's a cup of water it might be a little bit over um I'm sure it's probably a little bit over because I'd rather have over than under because I want it to be at least a good one cup um yeah y'all so I got that and that's pretty much it um i will come back and show y'all how the chicken looks when it's done and i'm gonna debone it and all that and then i'm gonna show y'all what i'm gonna do after all the bones is out and when i put the bones back in and do my bone broth i don't know if that's gonna be a separate um video because this one's kind of short i can't see the time because it's i can't see it from here um i hope y'all can see in my kitchen my kitchen's like isn't that bright which actually i do like because my eyes be hurting but yeah y'all i'm going to do that and then i'm gonna close up my instant pot i don't even know if it's plugged in there we go there we go let me put this down so y'all can y'all ain't gonna be able to see um well because of the way the screen is glows or whatnot i'll wipe this off um right now just this off um i'm going to put it on what am i gonna put it on I just put it on pressure cook, which is like the equivalent to the manual button on other pressure cook on other instant pots. But mine is the instant pot duo and it has like nine or whatever more functions. And they like broke down the uh, buttons a little bit more. But most people uh, pretty much stick with the I mean, it has all these functions on it, but most people use the. Uh, manual or pressure cook uh button and i have to change this because it's only on two minutes oh it's on two hours i have to change this completely wait yeah i only <gasps> excuse me y'all i only want it for about 25 to 30 minutes sorry if that's annoying i'm gonna try to just press the button and let it go down sorry um, you only want it for about 25 to 30 minutes, depending on the size of your chicken. This chicken was kind of big. I'm going to put it on 30 minutes and I'm also going to allow it to naturally come to pressure, um, naturally, uh, release pressure. So I know that the chicken is fully cooked cause 
if you make a mistake and your chicken gonna be all off if you don't make sure it's completely cooked all the way through so that's why i mean i'd rather be safe than sorry and i don't want no tough chicken or you know no weird consistency or textures so i'm going to let it um not right now it says on and uh it's coming to pressure right now um it takes a bit to come to pressure but uh it takes like 15 20 minutes so allow yourself that time if you're trying to cook a chicken um allow always allow yourself the time that it takes to come to pressure um mine usually i feel like it takes about 10 to 15 minutes i've never actually timed it but i feel like it's 10 to 15 minutes before it to come to pressure so first it's going to come to pressure then it's going to start the 30 minutes and it's going to cook for the 30 minutes then it's going to um natural release i'm going to let it okay y'all we are back um my instant pot is done i'm gonna try to show y'all it's been it's just been sitting here for like 38 minutes that's just it just starts to count down once dang it just starts to count down once um it's done and come comes to pressure the little silver thing on the top here is completely down it's come completely naturally released i'm going to open this now and then i'm gonna show y'all what my chicken look like um i just want to turn it that way let me turn this back um, i'm taking it off so it is completely done came to pressure i'm going to Ooh, my bad. <laughs> Show y'all what it looked like. Um, that's just the little seasons I had on it. The juice, like it's probably still really hot. Sorry, I'm trying to set this thing up on the tripod. It's probably still really hot. So, is it real hot? It's hot enough, shoot. Um, I'm gonna lift this. I should be able to lift this out my fingers lift this out the chicken it smelled real good y'all all I put was the um badia um badia badia whatever um what's it called 14 spices on it and yeah y'all here is my chicken as you can see, it's super, the bones come right off, right off. Um, I'm putting the bones actually back in, back in, because I'm going to debone this whole chicken. And, uh, because I want, I want some bone broth. I want to make bone broth. So, yeah. I just wanted y'all to see, I'm not about to handle this chicken super hot. I just want y'all to see how tender it is it is very tender like fall off look it's just all the way cooked through and it's very very tender very tender chicken but I'm gonna let this rest and cool down because it's really hot to the touch and yeah y'all that's it I just um that's it for this part of what I'm doing with this uh I'm gonna come back because I don't I think it might be too long if it's not too long then I'll show y'all the whole bone broth process too or I, I don't know I haven't decided if I'm gonna make two videos or not but y'all yeah this is DM it's super tender in the crop in the instant pot I did it for um 30 minutes as y'all saw earlier I did it for 30 minutes then um, I let it come to pressure. Uh, well, has well, I let it naturally decompress, and then I just let it sit in the crock pot for like 40 minutes because I was making another video, <laughs> so I was doing that, and then I just came in here to check on it and check it out, see how it was, it was doing. Smells great, looks great. I'ma let it rest and calm down. <laughs> And cool off and then I'm gonna take all the bones out and put the chicken carcass back in here and then I'm going to make my bone broth and that's pretty much all that I plan to do after that 
um, for the my bone broth. You just don't want to. You just want to make sure that it's not too much liquid in there, and um, that there's just just bare. You know, just covering the bones. And you can put in your aromatics if you would like to. I might put in some celery carry. I don't know. We'll see. But this chicken smells so good, y'all. It smells delicious. <laughs> but yeah, y'all. Uh, that's it for this. And I will see y'all later. Um, yeah, hope you're having a good evening. Um, I'm just at home chilling. Uh, Nate's at work. Um, and that's it. <laughs> I will see y'all in a bit. Bye. Love you. Bye.